Many people with disabilities and senior citizens are on fixed or low incomes and can't afford even a quarter more. Disabled New Yorkers like Iman Ramawi have been showing up to MTA board meetings every month for two years. They're protesting for better public transportation options. People power makes a difference. So we're having meetings with Accessoride and the MTA and sharing our stories about what we've experienced and what we would like to see happen. And that was the first time they actually saw people with disabilities as people. Protesting the wage hike was a small victory for disabled advocates. We are going to go out there and we're going to say thank you so much. We're so glad you heard us. But director of the Disability Justice Program, Ruth Lowenaren, says there are more issues that need to be addressed. Problems are legend. You want to go at 11 o'clock at night to visit a friend last moment? You hop in the cab. You hop in a subway. You hop in a bus. But people who require accessorized services can't hop anywhere. The disabled must reserve their accessorized bus 24 hours in advance. If they want to take the subway, they're rolling the dice on finding one with a working elevator. The legal advocates are trying to change that. In federal court, we brought a suit saying the MTA must have a plan to maintain its elevators. Advocates are keeping the MTA on their feet to make them see that the disabled are New York commuters too. Like I recognize my greatness and I'm never going to not recognize it and I want the same thing for every person who's using Accessoride because at the end of the day we're customers. Until Ramali gets the same rights as able-bodied New Yorkers, she'll continue to voice the needs for the disabled community. This is Lauren Layton reporting for NYU Now.